Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make iOS 11 look like iOS 12. So starting up, I got two phones with me right here. One is running iOS 11 and one is running iOS 12. Can you guess which is which? Well, unfortunately, you're probably wrong. This one's running iOS 12. This one is running iOS 11. But as you guys can see from the lock screen, the notifications look pretty much exactly the same. Again, just a second glance. If you just scroll down right here, you can see the apparent differences. They do look pretty similar, but unfortunately, this one is the one running iOS 12. And again, we can just show less. But the notifications look pretty damn close. I will say this does look a little bit different, but for iOS 11, that looks great. Anyway, moving on from group to notifications, we have this awesome thing in the app switcher. If it will open up, oh my god. So in iOS 12, you can just swipe up to close apps now. Same with iOS 11 with just a couple of tweaks. Uh, what else? Okay, so the icons down here. This is iOS 12. The icons for voice memos and a couple other applications have been redesigned. Well, you can actually port that over to iOS 11 as well. And I'm really not sure if this last one is a jailbreak tweak or not. With iOS 12, by default, it looks like these are all expanded. And again, I talked about in earlier videos, I use this tweak called Widget Extend to extend everything by default. Uh, anyway, let's get into this video of how to accomplish this look. Um... First up, we have the iOS 12 theme. That's what does the theming of the icons. Let me get out of that. That's just another tweak for another video. Anyway, iOS 12 theme. It's a great one to get the theming icons, like I was saying. Moving on, we have Stack XI. These are for these awesome notifications, the grouped notifications again. Uh, it just looks great um, on iOS 11. It's a great to see that all this crap can be hidden in the background. So that is Stack XI, and it works pretty good couple little errors. There's a couple spacing errors, I guess. Um, again, it doesn't look exactly like iOS 12, but it's a great start. I hope to see future updates with that. Uh, so Fleeting Switcher 11 is a free tweak that allows you to uh, quit out of apps just like that by swiping up without having to invoke their wiggle mode or anything like that. I don't know why the hell Apple implemented that in the first place where you have to hold down on the app before swiping up. I'm so glad they fixed that in iOS 12 where you can just automatically swipe up and that is the default function right there. And so very lastly, like I was saying, we have Widget Extend to give us these awesome expanded widgets by default. Anyway, guys, those are just four tweaks that I thought of off the top of my head to make iOS 11 look like iOS 12. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, no hard feelings about the iOS 12 test earlier. Like always, throw me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have something interesting to say that's not about a fucking iOS 11.4 jailbreak. Lastly, I'll start promoting this as early as possible. We will be streaming the 2018 iPhone event either on Twitch or on the channel. We haven't quite decided yet, but we will be doing live coverage on that event. And while iOS 12 may not be that interesting, this year's Apple event with the new iPhones, new Apple Watch, potentially new iPads, and new Macs, it should be a pretty epic one to uh, be a part of. So if you guys want to stay updated on what Apple releases this year, again, subscribe, like, all that bullshit. But I will see you guys next week if you're interested. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.